Uh, are all the Mayo players gone? All right, good. Hey, hey guys, it's Vic, and today I'm here to give you a rundown on what you can do to help secure a ridiculous number of points for Team Ketchup. Get it? red ridiculous? <laughs> if you're an innocent bystander that hasn't picked a team yet, let me help you out. What you're gonna want to do is walk on over to this here slap S sign and just, uh, just pick that one. Yeah, yeah, Team Ketchup. This is a battle of the condiments, after all. This is more than tomato sauce versus eggs and oil. Ketchup is fantastic with fries, with hamburgers, and so many other foods. We lost last time, and that... That just can't happen again. In fact, we have a special guest here today, so you can see just how fantastic ketchup is. Take it away, Tippy. I think what we really need is some opinions. Hey, Tippy. Hey. Hey, boy. Tippy, I have an important question for you. If you had to pick ketchup or mayo, what would you pick, Tippy? Can Can I get your opinion, Tippy? Like if I put this plate, what you, what you gonna pick, Tippy? What you gonna pick? Yeah. No. All right. <laughs> so, um, as I was saying, ketchup. Yes. At least here in the States, Team Ketchup has a lot of popularity. But this time, it's a worldwide slap fest. For those that didn't know, mayo actually did have the popularity in Japan. With the regions together this time, you gotta wonder, will ketchup really have as crazy high of a popularity at the end? We gotta stay on our toes, ketchup bros. To win this Splatfest, we still have to win the Splatfest battles. There will be mirror matches, yes, but those are training for where the real battles are happening. The mayo versus ketchup Splatfest battles. I'll play a successful game of Turf War in the background and give you some tips so you can see how to succeed. These are the A, B, C's of Turf War. A. Act quickly. You don't want to do any of that waiting around business. If there's turf to be inked, you should be inking it. That doesn't mean you should rush out to the front lines you're losing, though. In that case, we get to B. Build your special. Special scare inklings and octolings alike and give you the upper hand. An ink storm will let you take back precious turf in the blink of an eye. Tenna missiles will let you and your teammates know where your opponents are for easy peasy splats. And C. Catch up eh, to your teammates. If you see a teammate in a fight, do the best thing you can. Help them. Turn a 1v1 into a 2v1 and help secure another victory for good old Team Ketchup. Remember, Turf War naturally has a bit of an ebb and flow, and I'm not talking about the song. If you can get your opponents back into their spawn, they're going to eventually respond with specials. Don't get too close. You might wipe near the end of a match and put all that red hot hard work to waste. That's almost as bad as letting ketchup expire. You don't want to do that. Together, we can do this. Get ready for victory this weekend by fighting for Team Ketchup. I'll see you soon. Hey, Pebble! Hey, Pebble! You have an opinion, Pebble? Can I get your opinion on this, Pebbles? <laughs> no, wait! <laughs> what, you know what? You, know, you, you picked the cat. No! No! No, he's a good boy. You're a good boy. Yeah! Yeah!